Welcome, everybody, to another Aurora reaction. It's been a while, Ryan. We've it's been a while. Aurora. We haven't had a, a re an Aurora reaction. Yeah, say Aurora sometime. 10 times fast. I yeah, don't think right. you get it. Aurora Aurora Aurora, 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 Aurora. Sounds like a motorcycle drive. Aurora, 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 Aurora. Okay, okay yeah. Reggie. Okay, Reggie. Right. <laughs> this comes from uh, Onion, who, honestly, I don't think we've heard from Onion in some time. It's Which been a is, while. Yeah, it's <laughs> been a while. Uh, Onion has given us some other Aurora in the past. Um, and this was an interesting one. So this is a cover of an Imagine Dragons song. Aurora hadn't ever heard of Imagine Dragons. She just Imagine thought, that. Yeah. Oh. She just <laughs> thought it was kind of a... <laughs> she just thought it was kind of a cool sounding... Sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be dragging you through a bunch of dumb puns. Dumb puns. That should have been in the name of our... No, you didn't hear me. I said, I don't mean to be dragging you through some dumb puns. Uh, <laughs> so Aurora, she uh, she was given some choices of things to... Oh, there's Onion right now. Sweet. Um, and uh, she thought the name was cool. <laughs> and uh, she thought, I'll just pick a song. <laughs> and... Uh, it's very Aurora to do that, mm -hmm. I think. To just like, hey, that sounds like a cool name. I'll cover that song. You know what might, Aurora reminds me of? I was going to say flaky. That's not the right term. So I, my mm -hmm. brain thought that. I don't know why I brought that up because it doesn't make sense. She's flighty. Mm -hmm. You're like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> she just seems to be she's like. She's a child. She, she's, that's what I mean. But flighty doesn't yeah. mean airhead, but she's just like, like this. Like, mm hmm. Just so like eh, whatever will be will be. This is great. Mm -hmm. Life is good. <laughs> this is a very positive, yeah, carefree. Mm -hmm. She's very light about things, which I like. She doesn't oh, yeah. seem to take things seriously, which is a very good way yeah. to be. I feel like very if hot. she was in my house, she'd be going through all of my little models and going, "Well, oh, this is cool. Oh wow, this is pretty cool." And oh, oh, let me sing you a song. Yeah, yeah. So she only rehearsed this while at the studio. We don't know for how long. So okay. All right. Well, I'm now. I don't know the song. I only know a couple of Imagine Dragons songs. So we'll see if we even like the song. Number one, mm -hmm. and then we can say, do we want to hear more Imagine Dragons because of her performance? So I don't know the song. So however she covers it, I don't know what it's going to be like in regards to the original. So this is kind of like a double reaction, if yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we know she played the piano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember she in Golden. Right, she that's Golden. right. First thing she played first, it. I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up. Oh, I've heard this song. Oh, I think I know this one too. From the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, and seeing the beauty in the pain. Pain, you make me, oh, you make me a oh, believer, believer. Yeah, okay, I've heard this one, yes. Yeah. Oh, the hate that you have seen has turned your spirit. 
heart up in the clouds falling to ashes on the ground hoping to drown into the pain pain you make me oh you make me a believer believer pain. you break me up you break can't imagine like the people in that room i know you know getting to hear her do that mm. uh, um fantastic cover okay we, we we often talk about how what covers need to do and this i know the song well enough so I, I do know that song quite well um i've heard it multiple times i can't remember where i've heard it i think it's kind of like you hear it in social media it's one of their bigger songs places. the fact that i've i feel like i know that song yeah but I don't listen yeah. to the band. I don't listen to the radio. But I feel like I've heard yeah. that. I've heard that chorus. But I know it's a bit of more. It's more of a, a rock anthem type. So she oh, yeah. definitely quieted it down and made oh, it yeah. more angelic type. Okay. She aurorified it. She's she she like, aurorified it. Yes. She she well that was the the I don't know I because I know the song well enough. Um. I didn't know it by title. Let's put it that way. I didn't right. just by saying, "Oh, this is Imagine Dragons Believer." I wouldn't have got that. But as soon as she got to like mm -hmm. starting to playing, I was like, "Oh, it's this song," mm. and it's so different from the song. But it's it's just I don't know. She has such a way of uh, singing. Nobody else could do that the way that she did that. Like, there's mm. no no one I can think of that could sing it that way. And it's so funny that it was just such a random like. I like the name of this band. Oh, what's this song? Okay. Believe uh, yeah. Let's give it a try. Just out of the blue, let's give this a shot. Um, yeah, yeah. And sh she's, she like, we've seen a couple of covers from Aurora. Mm -hmm. um, she's the master of covers, as far as I'm concerned. She really does a great job. If I, wa if I knew nothing about Imagine Dragons, I would be interested in hearing more after this. However, I'm not the biggest Imagine Dragons fan, so that you know that i already know that it's not a band that i'm really interested in exploring mm. that well um but if i knew nothing about them this would have actually made me think i should 
research a little more to Imagine Dragons. Yeah, we're weirdly on the fence about Imagine Dragons. I don't know why we're talking about that, <laughs> but I guess it is a cover of their song. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that's one of their bigger hits. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know something about them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hey, if you want to give us a Patreon request to make Imagine Dragons, by all means, we won't stop you. We'll give you our honest mm-hmm. feelings on that. However, with this performance by Aurora, what we love about her, uh, she just always looks so uniquely beautiful. Uh, she's so like well put together without ever being it's hard to explain like she's always she always looks lovely but it's never crass or anything like that she's always very um i don't know what it is but yeah she's confident in her own she's she's naturally beautiful but so she, i don't does she wear makeup like you know what i mean she's very just mm. that's what i mean she's confident yeah. she didn't care yeah yeah, and uh, she's she's weird, and I don't mean that in a bad way. She's different. Mm-hmm. She's odd, and I like she's that. Confidently weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but it, but I know what you're saying by confident, but I don't even think you're right. That's how I would be if I, maybe comfortable, comfortable, right. or slash yeah. just she is who she is, and take her or leave it. And mm-hmm. she doesn't make any excuses for herself, and she doesn't have to. But in a world where artists today, as you know, are so some of the artists that we enjoy, some of them are so manufactured to a degree, or Hey, you're out in the pot. You got to look this way. You got to, you know, you got to wear certain clothes and outfits because boy, you're on this big stage. And she's Chasing like, Oh, I'm, style. I'm yeah. wearing stuff that my sister or her friend makes her. Like, I think it's her sister mm-hmm. makes her the dress. And that's great. A homemade dresses. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. And, and her hair is like, What is going on with your hair? It's, <laughs> I don't know what's happening there, but, it, but it works for her. That's what makes mm-hmm. her unique. I don't want her to be, I guess she's like an independent artist, I would suspect, but she, I don't know if she's on the label and all that stuff, but she doesn't come across as a major label artist, and I like that about her. That she's yeah. again, she feels accessible. She feels like someone you can relate to, and on top of everything else, she's extremely talented. I love her voice. I don't know how to describe it other than it's like angel like, soft, and it's so clear. It's like those um, the singing on the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. That's her mm. voice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, you get those those. Mm-hmm. You know the ride of ride or what do you call the the what do you call them the horses or the rider the ride of the Rohirrim? Yeah. Yep. Do you know it's the boy that sings that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that till yesterday. Sort of side note. I saw that on TikTok or Instagram, or whatever. So here's the so and so singing that part. I'm like, it's like a 14 year old boy in the studio. I'm like, holy, he's wearing like a shirt and tie. I'm like, I yeah. Anyways, been a fan yeah. of that movies for 20 odd years. I didn't know it was a boy that sang that part. Mm-hmm. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, I I feel like Aurora could sing the next. Lord of the Rings soundtrack films, like hire her oh, yeah. to sing, you know, yeah. Anyways. Oh, that'd be great. Oh. Uh, beautiful rendition. I love her twist on it, of course. And yeah, we love her. It's been a while since we've seen Aurora. So thanks, uh, thanks, Onion, for that. Yeah, thanks, Onion. That was an excellent pick. That's like really got back to uh, what I feel when we watch an Aurora video. That really, really did the trick. It's a very good choice. Yes. So keep, keep bringing it. We love it. Well, you know, our patrons always say things better than us. <laughs> <laughs> Very well said, Christina. I like that. That's perfect. Okay. So true. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for that. Uh, we appreciate all the support. You can always join us on our Patreon and be part of the community. Uh, we love our Welp- Welpdom. It's a great place to be. So come join us, and we'll see you in the next one.